Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a new project and file in PyCharm. Right? How do you create a project? What are these files? Everything we are going to learn from the scratch. Okay? Before you learn, the very first thing you should be aware is you should go to your C drive. Go to your C drive, go to uses and then whatever your computer username is right click on that folder and here you have a folder called pycharm projects so this is the pycharm project folder which would contain your project so at this moment i have created a project called as automate with rakesh and the same project resides inside this specific folder now let's do one thing i am going to close this project and going to start everything from the scratch so that you can learn so i've closed it so i'm going to delete the folder so let me do a shift delete enter Okay, so the folder has been deleted. So what would happen if I open PyCharm? You can see it has become grayed out. So by for you, it will be completely blank. So when you open PyCharm for the very first time, this will be completely blank. And here you would have an option create a new project. Okay, so click on that because I have already created a project. I do not see that, but I have an option here new project. Either wherever you find that create new project, click on it. So the moment you hit on new project, this is where most of you will have questions. Like is what are all this? What is this location? What is this environment? Let me help you out. So here what happens all your projects get stored inside this PyCharm projects folder. C drive uses your username and PyCharm project. This is the main folder. Now here whichever project you would like to create, you know, you can delete the entire path until PyCharm project and what let's say test one you would like to create or test two or whatever you like to create. So I'll give it my own name automate with Rakesh. This is the project name which I've given. That's all. So you provide a project name, test one, test two, whatever you like to do. So once that is done, below this, there is something called choose the environment. What is this environment? I'm going to tell you there are different options. Once you create a project, every project will have its own settings. For example, the project font color of theme, it should be a white theme or a black theme, or let's say uh, different dependencies required for the project to run. Right. So all of the settings and the dependencies of a project, right, will be stored inside a specific environment, regardless of how many different other projects you have. You might be having multiple Python projects you will be creating in the future. So for all this specific folder, there will be a specific environment get created, which will be stored inside a folder known as V environment. I'm going to show you that. So right now, if I go to my location, this is completely blank and I'm asking PyCharm in this folder, create something called automate with Rakesh. So the moment I hit on create, it's going to do that. So this much is understood. What is environment? This is in simple terms. This is responsible to manage settings and dependencies of a project, regardless of other Python projects in PyCharm. Okay. This is going to specifically keep the modules saved. Whatever the settings you have kept. Now below this leave all these options as it is inherit global side packages make available to all projects. So leave it as it is previously configured interpreter leave it as it is. There is something called create a main dot py welcome script. So you should be knowing as you are learning Python, you'll be learning Python. The files for Python scripts are stored in the extension dot py. For example, if you create a file on notepad and store it and save it, it will be stored as dot txt. Same way, any file will have its own extension. Similar way for Python, if you want to create a Python script file, that will be stored always with .py extension. So here it is only telling you, hey, I am going to create a file for you whose name will be main.py. Now later you would say, I don't want main.py. I would like to give it a different name. Of course, you can do that. You can create your own py files. But as you are starting your, pro I'm going to show you that. Okay, how do you create your own py files? I'm going to select this as it is and hit on create. Okay, now while it is getting created, let's have a look to the folder. If you see a folder has been created with automate with Rakesh and also if you go, there is a folder got created virtual dot environment, virtual environment and this is going to remember all the project settings, dependencies and all the things about projects, all internal things about the project for this specific project this is going to store and remember. Okay, you don't have to really do anything inside this, just come out of it. Okay, so this is understood. Okay. Before uh, this will take a little bit of time uh, to you know set up itself. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you a few important things. Okay. Now, one thing you would always 
here IDE. What is IDE? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, IDE. That means to create a script, you need a software on which you will write the Python script and develop the script. So those softwares are known as IDE, so Python IDE. So there are many popular IDEs, for example, PyCharm, Jupyter Notebook, right? One um, IDE from Python itself, from the python.org known as Python Idle. So let me show you when you install Python, right? If you type after you install Python, um, you know, there's an option to enable, you know, I want IDLE. IDLE means integrated development learning environment. This is created by Python. So this one, when you click on this, this would appear something like this. So this is a plain uh, window. Uh, no, this is also this is also you can utilize to create your create your scripts. Okay, here for example, here I printed Rakesh, right? So same thing you can develop it on IDLE. This is very good for learning uh, purpose. Also, even PyCharm also I can use. So the question here is Rakesh, which one should I use? Shall I use IDLE Python IDLE or shall I use uh, PyCharm or Jupyter Notebook? What should I use to learn PyCharm? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter which application you are using. All it matters is you learn the script, you learn the commands, you learn how to write the syntaxes, you learn everything as a language, right? You have to learn all this. So this is important, not which application or software you are building that is important. Okay. So to help you, I have created a playlist on my channel. My channel name is Automate with Rakesh. And here is the playlist known as Python videos. Okay. If you hit on the playlist, Python videos. And in this video, I have created series of contents, which is going to help you step by step. If you are a beginner, you do not have any programming uh, experience before. So this is the place where you should start, which, which I am going to guide you step by step, starting from installing Python. How do you enable IDLE, right? All the scripts that I have built initially uh, for around 30 to 34 videos, all I have used. Uh, the ideally environment what is ideally how do you access that how do you run a py file how do you create a python script file everything what are variables different rules from from scratch you know if you are a beginner just by following all these videos you will be expert okay all you do start following one video at a time for initial set of videos i am using ideally and you will learn how to use ideally now going forward we will use pycharm okay so on this pycharm First thing you, I made you aware what is this main.py file. This main.py file, if you go to this folder, here you see there's a file got created known as main.py. .py is the extension of all Python files. Okay. Now when you open this in a notepad, you know, if you try with open with notepad or anything like that, you would see, um, for example, if I do right click open with notepad. You can see just now I have written print, so the print is appearing. So whatever we are going to write in uh, within the PyCharm, everything is going to appear automatically by default for you. Okay. So first of all, what I did, the by default, whatever things were written, I have removed it. And here, let's say I would like to print something. Let's say I want to print a value. Let's say I want to do multiplication 3 into 48. Right. Now, if I uh, if I hit on enter, what would happen? It comes to the next line. So how do I run a py file in PyCharm? Here you have an option to hit on run. Okay. The moment you hit on run, it will show you the output. And the output is coming in the run console. If you see, this is the run console where you see the output. Right. Okay. Now the next thing, um, Rakesh, can I create a different py file or uh, a Python file? Yes, you can create. For that, all you do, right click. And here you have an option known as new. And here select Python file new python file and here i am going to give it a name you can give test one test two, whatever you like i am going to give my channel name hit on okay so what happens just by doing this this got created for example here i want to print something else okay automate with rakesh let's say i would like to print now if you run this what is happening it's still printing 144. Do you know why it is still printing 144? Because this is running the main PY, not this PY. Now to run this specific PY, all you do, come to the projects tab, right click on this and here you have the option run automate with Rakesh. Now if you see uh, uh, name error, name print, uh, print is not defined. Did you mean print? Okay, because I have written P in capital. That's why it's throwing the error. So this is the benefit. You get a lot of hints. Right. If there is anything wrong, it will correct you. 
Okay, now you can see automate with Rakesh has been printed. Getting it? So this is, and here also you have an option to select. Let's say I would like to run from main, then I can select main. If I execute, then the main, whatever you have written in the main will run. If I, let's say, uh, wanted to run, execute this specific file, I can select this, run it. So this output will come. Now you would say, do I need two two files? You really don't need two two files. Any one you can use to practice commands. So we will first focus on how do you write commands how do you write syntaxes? What are all this? What are different if statements? How do you write? So for that, all you do follow this content one by one. You develop in PyCharm or you write that on ideally doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter. All you have to learn is the command and the syntaxes for some time. And then we will get onto all those complex things later. Okay. So just follow the series as I'm teaching you. So this much is understood. So how do you and one more important thing I'll show you. There is something called Python console here. Okay. What is this Python console? Let me open. So if you simply type Python, not ideally, I'm simply typing Python. So py, like command prompt, right? Have you seen command Windows command prompt? Sim, similar way, it is Python command prompt. This is this we call it as Python shell. Now here, I don't have to write print and all, right? For example, three into three. Uh, let's say I want to uh, write some lines. So I'll put a double quote. I'll put a hash and I am going to say into 80 hit on enter so what is happening 80 times is going to print that dash if you see it has printed eight times but same thing so this is known as the python shell but same thing if I apply here in the py file right I will hit on enter if I simply say double quote and then I am going to say multiply by 80 hit on if I run this is it going to run so it did not run, it only executed the first line, but did not execute because when you are using a .py file, you have to really write the command. You have to literally write the command for it. Okay, let me execute. And all these commands are written in lowercase, okay, in Python. So you can see now it has printed the output. But the same thing, if you would like to, instead of using Python console and opening and trying something over here for testing purpose, you can also open Python console. Sometimes you would like to check the command or you know, sometimes you would like to directly test the output, right? How, how the output would come. So this is the place where you can type. For example, I want to print star into, so I want to print star 80 times. So I'll you know put a double quote, put a star multiplied by, let's say 70 hit on enter so here i'm not using any print command like in that uh, python shell right without that i can directly print here python console in case you would like to test something otherwise you will stick to this and this is where you would be learning your all your uh, all your commands of python okay so i hope uh, with this you must be very very clear couple of other things if you would like to do click on the settings hit on settings let's say you would like to change the set theme i would like a black theme or a white theme this is where you could could come and do that in pycharm let's say you would like to in the editor window right i would like to increase the font size so you can hit on the font and then increase the size so all these things you can explore and this is quite easy and keep it to minimal settings and hit on okay and you are good to practice everything on pycharm so please visit my channel follow this playlist please do hit on subscribe and hit on the notification icon to learn everything from the scratch. Thank you guys uh, for watching this video. We are going to meet in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.